blessings to you all. I have a word for somebody. I don't know who this word is for, but it is for somebody. And the title to this is called, There Is Still Time. Chances are you've been, you've done something over the course of your life that you're not proud of. In fact, you might have even done a few. Some things and feel they are taking their toll in your life. Maybe you told too many lies. Maybe you kept too many secrets. You hurt one too many people. However, indeed, after a lifetime of bad behavior, you might even feel like it's too late to do anything about righting your wrongs. You say to yourself, it's too late to make a difference. It's too late to be used by the great I am, our creator, our father, a higher for anything worthwhile. And though you know that our creator, the great I am, Ahia, has forgiven your sin through your faith in Yasha so that you will enter into his kingdom when you go on to be, when you go on to pass away, you can't shake the feeling that the chance to do something good on this earth has come and gone. Well, I want to be this one to say, if you feel this way, let me be straightforward with you. We serve a mighty, mighty Father Creator who is capable of overcoming the impossible and restoring the unrestorable. In fact, Ahaya is in the business of taking the worst of us and using us in a mighty, mighty ways for the glory of his name and his kingdom. I have two examples. Consider Moshe. He was a prince of Egypt, but one mistake cost him the respect of Pharaoh and the trust of his own people. He murdered an Egyptian and tried to overcome and cover up his crime. Then he spent years as an outcast convinced that this wickedness rendered him ineligible for good works. Ahia's response was to show up in a burning bush with a message for Moshe that no matter what he had done, the plan was for him to lead the highest people out of Egypt and into the promised land. Moshe would be given authority over the people and power from Ahia to bring judgment on Egypt. Another example, think of Rahab. She was a prostitute living in a pagan city of Jericho. She lived on the furthest outskirt of the city on the wall, which was a place for the lowest in society. Shortly before her nation's downfall, she knew enough. And Ahia, she knew enough of Ahia's chosen people to know what was coming. It would have been easy for her to conclude, conclude that her faith was sealed and that Ahia would kill her along with everyone else in Jericho. But faith compelled her to help y Yasha spies to align herself with the Israelites. Thus, Ahia used her to grant victory to the Israelites, and he saved her by protecting her from Jericho's fall. 
the Bible is full of stories about sinners whom Ahia ended up redeeming and using to bring about his perfect plan of deliverance and restoration. So if Ahia could use murderers and prostitutes to become great heroes of the faith, why do you assume he wouldn't do the same for you? Tapping into the future, Ahia wants for you starts with living acting faith that ahia is who he says he is and that he will do what he promises to do he is able to protect you from stumbling and to make you stand in the presence of his glory without blemish and without with great joy and a reference to this you can read, go to Jude chapter 20 and read um, Jude 24. Jude chapter 1 verse 24. Yeah. By choosing to believe that Ahia will keep his promise regardless of what you have done, you open the door to being used by Ahia for greatness in his kingdom. Don't give up. Do not give up. Defeat is not permanent. Our victory has already been won through Yasha. All you have to do is draw near to Ahia and start experiencing all he has in store for you on here on earth. Hallelujah.